Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and it's time for another Facebook Friday. This week I am focusing on the Happiness Blooms designer series paper that you can find in the 2019 Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog. It's beautiful spring paper and I've got three new projects for you. Hi, hi Linda, thanks for joining me. All right, I see everybody jumping on, awesome. I hopefully will not have internet issues this week. Last week we lost the internet. <laughs> it's never easy. All right, good. I see you guys jumping on. Well, welcome. So today is very springy in here. We are going to make three beautiful spring projects using the Happiness Blooms designer series paper. Um, while we wait for some people to find us, I am going to tell you a few reminders. Um, first off, there are only 23 days left in celebration. Can you believe it? Celebration is three months long. And during celebration, the big thing is that you get a free product with every $50 that you spend. So we have, many of us have been collecting our free products since January 3rd. Um, there are only 23, 23 days left and we've added a bunch of things to that product selection um, so make sure that you check that out over on the store there's lots of new things um, and I don't mean that in there are new things since I told you last Friday this list right here is what was added um, paper ribbon um, things from the annual catalog doilies so even more things if you think you have it all look again there's more awesome things um, the other part of celebration is that there's an awesome starter kit special. Here's the bag. I haven't shown it to you in a while. It is full of catalogs and things. We've got punches. There's lots of pockets in here. And this bag is free with a starter kit, starter kit option two. For $129, you get $175 in product of your choice from either occasions, annual, or clearance rack. Plus you get the bag for free. Now, if you don't want the bag, and I don't know why you wouldn't want the bag, but if you don't want the bag, you can get option number one, which is $99, and you still get $175 in product. You also will get a discount, the, the demonstrator discount, 20% off um, through your first quarter, which if you signed, if you bought the starter kit right now, that would go through the end of June. So if you are a shopper, like I am, and you like a discount, the starter kit is the best deal. It always is the best deal, but during celebration, it's an even more amazing deal. Uh, you can click on um, my blog at the top at pinkfuckroo.com. There's a uh, tab that says join. And if you click on that tab, it'll give you all the details. My team, when people buy the starter kit for me, they get all my PDFs for free. They get my classes at cost. Um, there's lots of benefits, not just getting the free bag and the extra $75 in product, but um, there's lots of benefits that go into buying that starter kit. It's really an amazing deal. So only 23 days left if you've been thinking about it. Now is the best time to do it, I promise. Okay, also I wanna remind you next week I will be out of town. We're going to, on vacation. We're going to Nevada and Utah. We're gonna do some hiking and some sightseeing with the kids over spring break. So there will be no Facebook Lives next week. Um, that also means that uh, this is the last time I can remind you about the Fable Friends class to go. If you want the Fable Friends class to go, you need to sign up before next Friday. Next Friday, a week from today, is the deadline, okay? Um, I'm getting lots of emails after my class is closed asking if I have extra kits. I usually cut one or two extras, and those are usually just in case somebody gets lost in the mail. So don't wait until after it closes. You guys sign up before that deadline to guarantee that you can get the class, okay? Um, there will be a link here. I'll add it in the description at the top when I'm done, but also over on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, you will find the details for that class. All right, thanks everybody. I see you joining and I see lots of you sharing. That is awesome. Um, when you guys share the video, it does help me and I really do appreciate it. Oh, Misty from Utah, I'm heading your way next week. It's going to be cold um, in southern Utah, which I was hoping it wouldn't be, but it looks like it's going to be very cold. My kids are going to 
not know what we have done. <laughs> I don't know if we have the right clothes, but we'll see. Okay, um, let's see. Also, uh, let's see, today's the 8th, so you have two days left to sign up for this month's Paper Pumpkin where you will get an extra stamp set. If you buy the prepaid Paper Pumpkin subscription, you also get celebration items, and you can use the host code to get today's projects for free. Um, I posted about that here. If you scroll down, I think it was just yesterday or day before I posted information about that. Um, let's see, what else do I have to tell you? Um, the frog framelits, you guys are gone, sold out in one week. So hopefully if you wanted the frog framelits, which I'm trying to find the picture of, here are the celebration coordination items. The frogs are gone. So if you want something from here, you need to get it ASAP. I've been telling you guys, these are while supplies last, and we're not kidding. <laughs> They are while supplies last. Those popular things are um, going fast. And I have no insider information, but my prediction is that the cupcake framelits will be next because I know a lot of my customers are ordering those. I have no insider, inf insider information on that. I'm just guessing, okay? But if you want those, get them before they're gone because they are, they're, well, I really like the frogs, but I think the cupcake framelits are my favorite. All right, all right, we're almost to prizes. Remember, I have the tutorial bundle. We did a blog hop just yesterday afternoon. All the details are there at uh, pinkbuckaroo.com. You get this free with every $50 order that you put in with me. You get, um, I will email you this for free. Um, my project this month is a cute 3D box that I'm not supposed to show you, so I'm gonna show you real quick. It's supposed to be a surprise. Um, I'm going to put that right there so I remember to email those out before I go out of town tomorrow. And, oh, I have three cards I want to share with you guys. I was going to show you on Tuesday, but I decided to wait today. Hi, Laurie. Um, today we're making a card with the Home to Roost uh, stamp set, which is a free celebration stamp. And I got this card in the mail from my downline, Lisa Cunningham. And I was so excited. I saw her post it on her Facebook page and I was, oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I have to show it. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? She used the Buffalo check background stamp. And so she sent me one. So Lisa, thank you. I love it. I also have a couple other cards that just came from um, some of my other downline, that little teapot. T for two is from my downline, uh, Kathy, and she did a really nice job coloring that. Um, you know, you don't have to, like when I color the, the teapot, I color the whole thing, but you don't have to. Look, she just put those little roses on there and colored just those in, so it's not so consuming to color that. And there's that doily. We're gonna use that today as well. And then I got one more from Quintella thanking me for something I sent her with those butterflies that'll be back soon. I think April 1st, we're getting close and closer to those being back in stock. We have had some popular things, this, this occasions catalog. It has been crazy, all of the things that have been selling out and going on back order. It has been crazy. All right, let's do prizes. So I always give away two prizes, one for I catch someone who um, shared the video on Facebook and then I picked someone over on my blog. I have a raffle copter, copter widget at the bottom. Um, so you have two ways to win. Share on Facebook, go over there and enter. And um, last week I was giving away this bundle to have and to hold with some blender pens. And the first winner is Phyllis W. And the second winner is Susan Little. So Susan, I have your mailing information, but Phyllis, I'm not sure I have yours. So Phyllis, if you will please reach out to me, I will get that to you in the mail. And then Tuesday's video, remember this awesome thing? I picked one random winner to win this for sharing that video and it's Don Hutchins. And Don, I have your mailing information. So Don, I'll be sending that to you. So congratulations, ladies. Would you guys like to know what I'm giving away this week? I am giving away two of these. Perfectly paired, which you can't even see. It's that cute little Noah's Ark set. Also, along with that, is the 2019 Occasions Catalog Ribbon Share with one of the pins and tags embellishment sets in there. So all you have to do to winter, winter to win one of these 
To enter to win is to share this video here on Facebook and go over and enter to win on my blog. You just enter your information at the bottom and hit submit, okay? And I will not be live next week, so I will pick these winners in two weeks. Hi, Terry. Um, two weeks from now is the 22nd, so I will be picking those winter, win, I said it again, those winners on the 22nd. All right, now, I think we're ready. My desk is cleared. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, um, I have a PDF for the projects that we're doing over at pinkfuckaroo.com. They are typed up on a PDF. All the measurements that you need are here. All of the other things that I've told you about are here. Those classes, the starter kit, and the host code is on here. If you place an order between now and Monday at midnight, I will send you today's make and takes for free. Well, hi, Emery and mom. Hello. Hi, Betty. Thank you for sharing. I'm glad to see you guys here. Okay, so the make and takes, if you want them for free, I will mail them to you. Normally, I mail them, I get them in the mail the Wednesday after Facebook Friday. So orders close on Monday, I cut and pack everything on Tuesday, and I put them in the mail on Wednesday. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be gone all next week, so it'll be the following week that I get those in the mail to you. So it's gonna take a whole week extra um, in the time that I, take to get it to you okay so be patient but it'll come and that they come packed like this here's a few that i've had see i make a little tag to go with it everything is in there that you need for your projects here's last week's with our little frog all right so if you want to make sure you use that post code and you get that order in by monday at midnight okay we are ready to stamp i'm going to turn you guys around here and let me get everything situated. I don't have a fancy way to do it, so everybody close your eyes. Hi, Carla. Oh, I know. I am excited about the break. I need to just spend some time away from here, you know, and just spend some some uninterrupted time with my kids. I'm really excited. I'm not sure the weather is going to cooperate with what we had planned on doing in southern Utah, but we will make the most of it. Here's the host code in case you guys want it. It's also on that PDF. Okay, so this week my focus, I told you on Tuesday, is this beautiful Happiness Blooms designer series paper. It's very springy, it reminds me of Girl Scouts. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. And there's kind of two color schemes that go, the navy and the Call Me Clover and then the uh, Calypso Coral and Call Me Clover. Sorry, I turned that fan off so the the um, camera won't do that moving. And then they've got them all three together there. Um, today I'm going to use three different patterns. I'm going to show you one way to not hoard your paper, one way you can use up a whole sheet. And I'm going to show you a card that uses four of the patterns. A card let's see four different ways using four of the patterns if that makes sense all right so let's do the card first oh here they all are if you want a little sneaky sneak peek and this was what we did on Tuesday you guys like that which I am glad I'm gonna tell you I was a little nervous wasn't sure the leprechaun <laughs> made sense my friend Kay and I had quite a few giggles over this but you guys seem to like him if you want that video hop over to Tuesday's post and the video is there for you um, so let's see, we're going to start with this card and I get a lot of questions and I told you on Tuesday, I get a lot of questions about how I come up with my inspiration for things. How do I come up with all my different ideas? And I'm going to tell you one of the ways that I do is I use sketches and I had a conversation with someone a few weeks ago and she had no idea what a sketch was. She didn't really understand what it meant. And I thought, wow, you know, that for something that I use so frequently, I thought, it would, um, it would be good for me to, to tell you guys about it, to talk about it. So a card sketch really is like a blueprint, um, maybe a map for your card, where to put things. So you can see the card that I made here. Here is the sketch of that card. And a sketch, you need to remember that it's just a suggestion. Your card doesn't have to be exactly like the sketch because sometimes you'll start with a sketch, an idea, and your card will take a totally different direction, which is fine. It's just kind of a starting point for you. Um, I also made up a sketch 
for a card we did a couple of weeks ago. I meant to pull it out. Is it over here? Let's see. Yeah, right here. See that? I didn't use a star. I used a hat, but it's the same idea. It kind of gets you started. So here you don't necessarily have to use an oval or a flower, but you could use a circle, a square, whatever you want. Just kind of helps you find where to put things on your card. Um, I find that if I follow a sketch, my card is always aesthetically pleasing. You know, there's not like this weird balance of things. Usually sketches um, really kind of help you find balance in your card. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this card based on this sketch. And then I'm gonna show you three other cards I made using the same sketch, okay? All right, so let's start with, let me tell you the stamps that I'm using, Floral Frames. We did this in the summer on a Facebook Friday. And if you're looking for that, go back to maybe July-ish. We did three projects with this. Um, we're just gonna use the Hello, and we're gonna use some of these framelits to make that little collection of flowers foliage there. All right, let's go ahead and do all of our die cutting first. I need to move this out of the way my camera stand and we need to get the big shot hi Cheryl I'm glad you found us all right the first thing we need to do is make that frame that oval frame and in order to do that you just need two of your oval framelits and in this instance I am using two of the stitched oval frames and you just lay them in there together and you'll have that ring and let's see, we're gonna use Call Me Clover. Another way to really help you when you're trying to make a card or a project and you don't know what colors to use, just look at our designer series paper. All the colors are listed both in the catalog and on the package of paper. And sometimes I'll pull out all of those ink pads and lay them out in front of me and use that kind of as my color palette um, to help me you know, kind of stay within those colors that go together. All right, so Pineapple Punch, Call Me Clover, and Crumb Cake. So we're gonna cut all of these at once and come back through. You know, you, if you go to Pinterest and you type in card sketch, you will find thousands and thousands of different card sketches. There are tons and you can really use them, um, you know, to just help you have a starting point. Cause I know sometimes it's very hard. You wanna make a birthday card and you don't even know where to start. So it gives you kind of um, a map for your card. All right, now I've also cut out a stitched rectangle from Whisper White and I'm gonna use that Hello in Night of Navy right here on the right side. All right, now I better close this. Today when I recorded these clean videos, you guys, for this, that'll be on YouTube later, I made a huge mess of my hands and the ink, so I am not going to do that again. I've got ink everywhere. Okay, so we've got all of our pieces. First thing I'm gonna do is start with a card base. This is just a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock that I've cut in half at four and a fourth and then folded in half at five and a half. This is a piece of our Happiness Blooms designer series paper. This is what it looks like on the back, but I'm sticking with this print. I didn't want it to be too, too, too busy because then it would take away from our little frame of, of uh, flowers. Um, this is three and three, no, three and a half by five and a half. And remember, these measurements are on that PDF. You can hop over and find it. All right, so let's put our frame here in the center. I've got my mini dimensionals for this. They are a perfect fit. And let's see. <laughs> Sandy, you're getting gas at Costco. Well, you be careful with your phone, Sandy, but thank you for sharing. I hate getting gas. I love on the weekends when I go somewhere with my husband and we have to get gas because that means he gets it for me. I don't know why, it's just one of those annoying chores that we have to do. All right, put that right there in the middle. Now we're gonna put this one straight across the center. Right here. Some more mini dimensionals. And you could put dimensionals here in the center if you wanted to. All right, like that. And now my favorite glue dots. 
I'm going to start with the green, the clover leaves. One up and one down. And then the pineapple punch. These aren't really flowers. These are foliage, little branches, little, I don't know, bright yellow baby's breath. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what they are? Oh, eucalyptus almost, it looks like. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's make the last part is the gingham bow. My husband always laughs, you guys, when I say I hate getting gas. He's like, what's the big deal? I'm like, I don't know what the big deal is. It's that I have things to do and places to go, and if I have to stop to get gas, it's just slowing me down. <laughs> he doesn't get it. He gets gas in his car about every other day because he drives so much for work. So I guess to him, it's just something we do. All right, there we go. We've got this gingham gala. No, not gingham gala. Knight of Navy gingham ribbon. Too many, too many gingham words. And we're going to stick that right there. All right, and there we go. Done. You could change that to happy birthday. You could change that to... Um, I'm sorry, whatever the sentiment could be, anything. Isn't that cute and easy? Now, I told you I had some other cards using the same sketch, all right? Here's the one we just made. Here's one with a different print, and instead of using that pineapple, I used um, lovely lipstick. All right, here's one with, with that clover paper that we used on Tuesday, and I used Flirty Flamingo with it. All right, and then here's one more, and this is all Calypso, uh, Calypso Coral, and I did white instead of a color on those. So let's look, they're all the same sketch, but they all look different. And all those papers are from that same pack of Happiness Blooms Designer Series paper. Isn't it beautiful? They're all just so bright and springy and they all have such a different look. All right, so you guys, this sketch is gonna be over on my blog today. If you wanna save it, I would love to see your cards using the sketch. I'm gonna try to use sketches more often for, for us on Facebook Fridays and then cha challenge you to use it too. All right, so be looking for that and tag me if you post it on Facebook because I wanna see it. Okay, project number one is done. So let me move this tray over and get our next project. Our next project, let's see, I need that ink. I've got to leave that here and the ribbon. And let's see, what are we going to do next? Let's do the fun fold. This is a fun, fun card. I love this fun fold. This is called a bridge card. Can you guys see how it's set up? And it folds down flat like that to fit in a regular envelope. It's the same size as the cards that we make. Isn't that so cute? Now I use the Calypso coral paper and a little bit of navy, but it has a totally different feel and a totally different look than the, than the other print, which I love because um, all the papers are so different and so uh, just unique. I, I think they're really fun. All right, so we're gonna make this. They This is called a bridge fold card, I believe. All right, okay, let's get started. We're using the Home to Roost, this beautiful set. How many of you have gotten this? Suddenly, I'm noticing a lot of my customers are ordering this set. I don't think it was one that jumped out at us right at the beginning, but now everybody is getting it. So we're using that one. We're using the Doily Builder Framelits. And let's see, we're gonna use a whole bunch of Stampin' Blends too. Let's make the card base first. This is a piece of, Trisha, you're raising your hand, you've ordered it. This is a piece of Calypso Coral that is four and a fourth by eight. And I need to look at my notes. This one has a lot of measurements down here, you guys. It's in tiny print, I'm sorry. That's the only way I could get it to fit. This is four and a fourth by eight, and we're gonna score it at one and a fourth, two and a half, five and a half, and six and three fourths. All right, then, oh, that's gonna fall down, hold on. 
Then you're gonna need your little pieces of designer series paper. That's what DSP stands for, in case you guys didn't know, designer series paper. You need four of them um, that, that measure one inch by four inches, okay? And we're gonna put those on these panels. I'm gonna put the stripes on the outside and the polka dots on the inside. I love this little polka dot. It's really cute. Would make a cute baby card. I just made the baby cards for my blends club today. Um, I did the video and I have babies on the brain. We're using a baby set. Okay, now fold those in like that, in and out, in and out. So there we have it, that's what it looks like. All right, now let's get our, let's see, let me make sure I use the right pieces here because they all look the same. We're gonna put a Knight of Navy piece in the center and this one measures four by two and three fourths. And then this white piece that's gonna go on it measures three and three fourths by two and a half, but we're gonna do some stamping first. Let's see, do I have a piece of grid paper? I had one here and it is gone. So we'll use the back of this. Okay, we're gonna use that grass, and I don't know if you guys remember the week that I did all the frog projects, we used this grass, and it's a great stamp, and I think we could use it a lot, even without the rooster or the frogs. All right, I am going to stamp this grass several times, and I want to stamp in full strength, like this, and then stamp again in lighter strength, kind of to give us layers to our grass. Okay, so it's kind of busy, but that's okay. It's gonna be in the background. Then, close that. I'm gonna get the sentiment and stamp it in navy, and this says, thanks for your friendship, right there. Oh, is that crooked? Let's see, nope, that'll do. Okay, this navy one is the one I stick my fingers in all the time. Now, we're gonna color that rooster with a bunch of oranges, so I wanted to bring the orange over onto this piece. So I'm gonna use my Cajun Craze Stamp and Blend Dark, and I'm gonna use my lid to flick it on here, just to add a little bit of that orange, which when we color our rooster, it will kind of pull in those colors and all go together really well. All right, so we're gonna put that one there. All right, now for our bridge part. And I know I'm gonna to have to trim one of these because this morning when I was filming the other video, I realized I didn't cut my Calypso one the right width. So we're gonna to have to cut the DSP a little bit skinnier. The original measurements should be one and a fourth by five and a half for that piece. And this one should be one inch by five five and a fourth, but I cut them wrong. So we're gonna make it work. This is our bridge. So put that on there, like that. And now we're gonna add it on. And I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive here and use a strong adhesive for this part. Tear and tape would be good. All right, get it nice and square and line this up. Make sure it's even over here on this side. And then pull this one in and make sure it's even. Let me look through the camera. Does that look even? I think so. All right, and then you can press it in. So there it is standing up. It's like it has its own little built-in easel. For the person who gets it, they can display it. And when you mail it, you just fold it flat like that. Isn't that clever? I love it. Okay, now we're ready for our rooster. We're gonna stamp him in Memento and on Whisper White. And you'll notice he doesn't have real sharp, clean lines. He's kind of abstract. So with your coloring, you're gonna be kind of abstract too. Now I've got lots of colors here to pull from. And we're gonna start with balmy blue. We're gonna do light balmy blue. And the way that I came up with the colors for this guy is I went straight to Google and I Googled roosters. And believe it or not, the ones with the blue come up first. There's lots of blue and orange roosters. So I'm gonna color him, give him a nice coat. And over here with the tail, 
I'm just gonna kind of be abstract too. See how the artist just kind of threw those, <laughs> those uh, lines up there? Well, that's what we're gonna do with our color. We're just gonna be abstract with it. Now I'm gonna take my um, dark balmy blue and go under these feathers here add some dark kind of halfway down come back with your light and blend it down oh I forgot to do it up here too and this one I'm not going to go all the way out I'm going to go about three-fourths of the way out like that and then last but not least oh goodness that was kind of rough the way I put that on there <laughs> I'm going to get my light night of navy and you guys be careful with your night of navy look how dark it is this is the light night of navy it is dark okay so use it sparingly now i'm going to take my balmy blue and blend it in to those other colors there and i'm going to take some of this color and make sure i follow out those lines all the way out Ooh, he's very handsome and i'm going to leave that one light oh well i just went over it with a darker one Mm, that's all right we'll just blend it all together <laughs> that's the thing with the blend you just keep blending and blending hi Sam glad you're here all right now pumpkin pie Oop. let's see I'm gonna use the other end I need a new pumpkin pie I've used this one into the ground all right dark pumpkin pie right here and oh yes down here I'm gonna outline his little legs pumpkin pie and then Calypso Coral, look, they all look very similar. These oranges, this is light pumpkin pie. This is dark Calypso, light Calypso, dark Cajun, light Cajun. These four really go well together, the Cajuns and the Calypsos. So I'm gonna use dark Calypso Coral right here on his comb and his waddle. I hope those are the right words. That's what I used to call them when I was teaching, when we had to color in the turkey. So hopefully it's the same. <laughs> okay, now bring back that one of those oranges, and we're gonna do the same thing we did a minute ago. We're gonna flick some of this color. I'm gonna do, let's see, some pumpkin pie. Well, that one's dried out. I've got to get a new pumpkin pie. Let's do this one. Ooh, that looks awesome. All right, we're gonna punch it with the two and a fourth circle punch there he is he's very gorgeous very handsome and now we need to cut out our doily have you guys seen my new plates on my big shot I pulled them out today look oh I don't want to ruin them they're crystal clear when you first get them and then the more you cut the more cloudy they get. It's normal, it's supposed to do that, but it's just so nice when you have brand new ones. Okay, the doily builder, let me tell you, if you put this piece down, you're only gonna cut out the little, um, the little holes. It's not gonna cut the edge. You've got to use this one that goes around. That's in case you wanna put that doily, just cut it out from like the center of a piece of paper and not just cut it out as a shape. So we definitely want the whole thing to cut out. This is a very intricate die, so go through a few times. And what I found earlier today is that it didn't cut all the way in the middle. See how it's kind of cloudy there in the middle? So turn it over that way, and I kind of like to put it, like let's put it in a different spot on the platform. It's upside down and this will get that center. For some reason, when you turn your framelit upside down, it cuts it beautifully. Isn't that awesome? It's a really cool tip. When you have a framelit that just is stubborn, flip it over. All right, and we've got a few of these doodads hanging on. Let's get those out. And we're ready to layer. Now, normally, I would say liquid glue on this right but we're going to cover most of that up so i'm just going to put some fast fuse on it and stick it right there okay make sure it doesn't go beyond the edges of the card or it won't fit in your envelope 
Now we need to put some linen thread here on our rooster and I wanna remember that it goes on this side. So I'm gonna flip it over and put my adhesive right there. This is the linen thread. I'm gonna wrap it around my fingers about, I don't know, five or six times. And then I'm gonna pinch it in the middle. I don't want it to be nice and neat. I want it to be messy. So I'm going to kind of mess with it and pull it a little bit. These little ends you can fold in. And when you have it in a figure eight, stick it down on there. And I like to, where are my dimensionals? I like to put a dimensional on top of it like that. You could also just use tape. All right, so we've got that and you can kind of mess around with it to get it kind of messy. It kind of mirrors his tail feathers. All right, now we're gonna put some more dimensionals on there. The dies are beautiful, Vicki, I agree. <laughs> Christine, sorry. All right, now put that right there. And there he is. Isn't he so handsome and all that back there? Just is really neat. But wait, we've got to add a bow. We can't have a rooster without having the gingham bow, of course. And this one, I think I was talking last time. When you make your bow, keep it loose so that you can pull these through. I kind of like to keep it short. And I really want this one to go up. So you can, while you're manipulating your bow, tighten it so that that part will go up where you want it. And just keep messing around with it until you've got the bow that you want. All right, now I'm gonna put that right there. And I've got some glue dots here to go right there. And there is our bridge card. I think this might be my favorite one of the week. I don't know, I really like that last card, but this is really kind of cool. And you know, if you wanna write a message, I would write it on the back. You could put white paper there and write your message there. And then it's just a little work of art in the front, isn't it? So fun. That rooster, if the, you know what, you guys, this is actually the first time I've used it. I have been so inspired by the things that I'm seeing online that I just was like, I've got to use it. I've got to get that guy out. He's so cute. And he goes well with this paper. Okay, so what do you guys think? You like it? Yeah? It's a cute one. Okay, one more project. Man, I am fast today. Today's projects I knew were going to be fast. They're a little more on the simple side. All right, let me grab the next one. All right, this is our 3D project today, and it is just a bag, just a gift bag that's gonna use up your designer series paper. How many of you are hoarding tons of paper? Is Terry still on here? <clears throat> Terry, I'm not gonna say your name, but I know some people who complain about hoarding their paper. Hmm, don't hoard it. Use it up, you guys. That's why we buy it, because it's beautiful. This paper, you could make these bags out of any of these papers and just change the color of the tag and the color of the flower. Um, this bag, you can get two bags out of one full sheet of designer series paper. Look how cute that print is. That's even cuter. I just love it. So from a whole pack of paper, you could get 24 bags, right? 12 pieces, two bags each. 24 bags, so you these could be um, party favors, they could hold treats, they could hold, you know, jewelry, maybe a little uh, bracelet that you bought somebody. It's just a nice little bag. Okay, so let's get this made. You're gonna not believe how easy this bag is. This is a six by 12 piece of the designer series paper. It is, like I said, a half sheet. And you could use any of the prints that you wanted. Uh-oh, where are my notes? I gotta look at my notes. Measurements are right here, guys, today on the PDF. All right, six by 12, we're gonna score the long side at five and a fourth and six and three fourths. And the short side at one and a half and four and a half. And I actually think that I tweaked those measurements a little bit um, on my original. If you want it to be wider, 
make your sides shorter. They'll still overlap and they'll still work. Um, just move those two score lines out the same amount that way if you want the bag to be wider. Okay, so bone folder. Where is my bone folder? We gotta use a bone folder for this. Uh-oh, we got an escapee. Oh, look at this bone folder. <laughs> I used it last week to re-ink an ink pad and now it looks terrible. All right, score those lines. I have several of these. I don't know why this one is in that basket. All right, now with your scissors, cut these score lines right here. So this bag is just four score lines, that's it. No fancy tools. And you're gonna take the inside squares, put some adhesive on the outside, fold up one side and press them into one, then put adhesive here on the other outside tabs and then you're just gonna fold it up and around like that. Well, come on. Hmm, my score lines are off today. No, are they right? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think maybe they are, but we're gonna pretend like they are. They are correct. No, they're right, they're right. You guys, I have vacation brain. I'm kind of checked out, I don't know. You guys get like that the day before you're going on vacation. It's very hard to focus. All right, so there's your bag. <laughs> I like to pinch it here in the middle to make it like a gift bag. You can do that, you can even fold up the bottom, it'll lay flat. Now there are lots of ways you can close this bag. Yeah, mine's a little wonky, I think I scored it wrong, but on the PDF, the score lines are right because I double checked them this morning. Um. I don't know what I did to this bag. Punch some holes into it. And we're gonna use Lovely Lipstick. That's the color of the coordinating um, pattern on the inside. And you just thread this through. By the way, you guys, our one, in, or no, not one and eight, our eighth inch handheld punch is gone. They told us that we had limited supplies of it. Um, there was an issue with the manufacturer and they weren't going to get any more and that it would probably run out before the end of the catalog. And I went to put the number on our PDF and it's gone. It's sold out. Oh, it's that time of the year, guys. As we get closer to the new catalog, things are going to be selling out. Yeah, so make sure you're grabbing those things you want because while supplies last is not a gimmick, it's true. It is true. Okay, so I've tied it together with our ribbon. Now let's make our tag. I think that's important, the most important part. I'm using this stamp set called Dear Doily. And you guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I said I wasn't gonna even mention it, but this was on low inventory the last few days. It's off of low inventory and back in the store but the framelits are not in the store by themselves. The bundle is there, but the framelits are not. Um, de de uh, demonstrator support said that there's going to be an announcement next week about these. I'm not sure what's happening. That's all I know. If you want them, go order the bundle immediately because I have a feeling these framelits are gonna be gone too. Um, but I, again, that's me guessing. My friend Kay and I, because Kay is using it this weekend too, we were wondering where the framelits were. Can't find them in the store. Not sure where they went. But the bundle is there, so maybe they just have bundles left and not the framelits by themselves. I have stamped this in Lovely Lipstick on Lovely Lipstick cardstock. Um, words can't express. This could be how much you mean to me, how thankful I am, how sorry I am. I mean, this could be a variety of reasons, really. I really like that, kind of leaves it open-ended. Now, this flower here is really neat. It's a long stem, and you could do any colors you want. And I'm gonna use my stamp and Write markers to color it so that it's the, the two different colors. When I was a very new beginner stamper. This was the one thing I could not figure out when I looked in the catalog. How did they get that stamp in two colors? It, it was, it's a solid image stamp and it's, I can't color it in. How did they do it? 
So my friend Deborah, she said, let me show you, get your markers, we'll color the rubber stamp. And you just put the color right down on the stamp. It's fun. Now, breathe a little breath onto it in case any of it has started to dry and stamp it on your paper. Beautiful, isn't it? There's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Were you here earlier when I showed your adorable Home to Roost card? It is so cute. I had to show it. Now, where are my framelits? Remember, this is the doily builder stuff that we used on the last card. Here is that framelit right here. Lisa, yes, your rooster card made me squeal when I saw it when you posted it on your Facebook page. And then it showed up in my mailbox. Very lucky. I kind of thought you were making them for our team swap. But maybe I was wrong. Our team swap theme this month, you guys, is critters. I told you we should do a critter swap, and we're doing a critter swap. All swap cards have to have some kind of animal, bug, fish, something, because we have a ton of animal stamps. I'm doing the cat, and you guys will see it after spring break, the cute little cat. Okay, here's our flower. Who knows what kind of flower this is? I have no idea. I can't even venture to guess. I have no idea, but I know someone on here knows. Who knows? All right, I'm gonna put that right on the edge. Now I did a card and I thought I pulled it out, but no, I didn't. Hmm. Let me just look, because I wanna show you guys. Darn it, I don't know where it is. I did a card with this. When I was making samples, I don't have it, I don't know where it is, um, where I did four or five of these flowers and laid them all together and it was amazing. So if you get this stamp set, you really need to play around with that flower. The doilies are beautiful, but the flower is beautiful as well. Thanks for sharing everybody. Uh, Salvia mom, you think? Mom would know, I don't know. It reminds me, no, I won't say what it reminds me of. You know when you pick something like a wildflower and it has all that stuff hanging down? <laughs> That's what it reminds me of because it's really long. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know the names of flowers. All right, I put it on the front with dimensionals and that's it. Wouldn't those be easy to make for a party if you just lined them all up, all different prints of DSP, and you just you could change the circle to match whatever color and the flower, whatever color of designer series paper. I hope you guys like it. It's so simple, and the bag is so easy to make. Okay, that was the third project. Let me show you what we did today in case you joined us late. We made this bag all of this is using that happiness blooms dsp we made a bridge fold card then we talked about um card sketches and by the way sketches can be used for scrapbook pages too i used to use a ton of those when i was scrapbooking and see look at all the different prints of that paper it's gorgeous and then of course our little leprechaun guy that we did on tuesday all right, you guys, I hope you like these. Remember, I will be gone all next week. There will be no Facebook Live next week. Um, I will be sending these the following week to anybody who puts in, in an order by Monday and be watching for an ordering special next week later, too. I've got some ideas that I might put out there. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. If you email me next week. I will only be checking email sporadically, so please be patient with me. If you need links for class registration or anything, don't worry. I will eventually get to your email, okay? All right. Sorry, Carla, but yes, I need to get away and take a break. It'll be good. It'll be good. You guys have a great week. Stay warm wherever you are, and I will see you. Mm, what will be the date? The Tuesday will be the 19th. No? Yes? The 19th. I'll see you guys March 19th. Have a great one, guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye.